here's Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. Discarded cans of unknown substances. Piles of wood left on the sidewalk. Mattresses illegally discarded on city streets. But it's not the usual suspect. This time, it's the city of Hayward, where finding discarded items on the street was a little too easy. For instance, on the corner of Flag and A Street, I found what appears to be an entire home left in one huge pile, which included not one, but two children's car seats. This is Philip, and he's taking a photo of a china cabinet for a possible refurbishing. Just a few feet down the street is a mattress left in the street. The funny thing is, the city of Hayward offers one bulk item pickups per year, so this stuff should never be on the streets. Another issue, some parts of Hayward, like Cherryland, are unincorporated so they fall under the Castro Valley Sanitary District. They also offer one bulk pickup yearly. Oh, and the pickups are free, just as long as you follow the rules on their website. However, just dumping things out on the sidewalk is heavily frowned upon, and is illegal, not to mention it makes the neighborhood look bad. But you should know that not all illegal dumping is plainly visible. In this alley, just off East 14th Street, just past these ankle biters, <laughs> discarded furniture, and car parts just a few feet away. Even on private property, just a few feet from the Hayward downtown sign, more trash and this mattress. While you can't expect the city to look like paradise, we need to look for ways to keep it clean, or at least reasonably clean. In Hayward, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.